Welcome to Hack Informer HD, I'm just the Rennie, and this is week 2 of our weekly roundup. As we all know, or at least I hope we all know, is that Hankaku Enzo was released recently. At first everything seemed to be running great, but only a couple hours after, people started reporting some issues. These issues include not being able to access PSN or download any games, apps, or themes. Everyone believed this was simply a mistake on Sony's end, but it seems all 3.65 Vitas are able to access PSN just fine. Now, Yufen Liu confirmed that this error is not linked to Hankaku or Enzo in any way, but affects all 3.60 modified Vitas. While at the time of this video there is no solution for the current error, Yufen Liu has stated that it might be possible to bypass this with more investigation, though personally he does not have time to do it himself. All that is advised now is that users with a activated Vita back up their account data. There was this rumor that users that accessed PSN on their 3.60 system would have their handhelds deactivated, though that was proven untrue. What should be noted is that at the time of this video, it is not possible to activate a deactivated 3.60 Vita unless you have a backed up account data file from before it was deactivated. This also means that if you do happen to have a deactivated Vita, you will not be able to run Adrenaline, though the flow has stated that he does plan on making a version of Adrenaline that does not require activation. The release date is estimated to be around September, as he's currently busy studying for his exams. For those of you who own a PSTV running Henkaku Enzo, you should be proud to know that it is now able to mount a USB drive upon boot. A plugin by the name of USB-MC developed by Yufen Liu has made microSD cards no longer the only unofficial memory format that Hankaku Enzo can boot with. It is even functional with slow USB drives and hubs. Details on how to do this are in the article linked below. After 3DSs got updated to 11.4 and 11.5, people were unable to launch Homebrew Launcher unless they were willing to pay for a flash card or participate in a hard mod. Well, it seems a Sin developer has been working on 11.4 and 11.5 exploit this entire time. The criteria is that you own a new 3DS or new 2DS on the firmware stated before and have the Flipnote Studio 3D application installed on the system. Now, sadly, this game isn't free to download and requires 200 platinum coins from my Nintendo. However, it is rather easy to acquire 200 coins by simply signing up for an account logging in and doing some quests given to you. Now the window to do all this is uncertain as this exploit has been leaked and reported to Nintendo. I suggest you get this application as fast as possible and do not update your system when it gets patched. The details are in the description below and I believe the GBA temp post is actually a really good read. It is recommended more now than ever to downgrade your 10.3.3 iPhone to 10.3.2 as soon as you can. It seems that a jailbreak for 10.3.2 is still possible due to a new exploit discovered by Eon Beer. This exploit has already been patched on 10.3.3, so there's no reason to keep it from the public any longer, according to Ian. Now, judging from the tweet, it seems to be alluding to a developer jailbreak, which is only useful for research and testing purposes. Though chances are it won't stop there, as the first iOS 10 jailbreak was not intended for the average user. But through patches, we saw the usability skyrocket. Currently, the exploit works for all iPhones beginning with the 5 and onward. This also includes the iPad 4th generation and everything that came after it. If you have any of these devices, we will have a tutorial coming soon on our website and maybe on the channel. To that is everything for this week's roundup. To stay in the loop of everything Hack Informer, hit that like button. And if you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. I'm Mr. Rennie. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.